Hi, I'm Rachel, and today we're going to be going over lessons on how to find the domain and range in calculus. The domain is going to be all possible x values, and the range is going to be all possible y values. So one way is to do this um, by looking at the graph, if you have the graph there. So maybe you have a graph like this, right? It's a parabola. So what is the domain and range? You can also do it algebraically, but let me show you on the graph first. So the domain of this is going to be the all possible x values. So in this case, it can be any number, right? It's going to go on forever in both directions of um, the x value. So the domain, right, the x, d is going to be all real numbers, which we write like that. Then the y is the range. Now what's the y going to be? This isn't going to be all numbers, right? Because in y equals x squared, it only goes up, right? It's only positive. There's no way you can have a negative value. So you know that y is going to, the range is always going to be um, greater than or equal to zero. So you can do that by looking at the graph. But you can also do it by solving the problem algebraically, looking at it here and saying, I mean, you know for something as simple as this, um, or you should know if you're in calculus, that, the, that x squared is never going to be negative. So the range, the y values, are always going to be 0 or greater than 0, so greater than or equal to 0. And the range, you can plug in any number for x here, and it's, you're still going to be able to square it. It's not like, you know, in the denominator or something like that, um, in which case, you know, it might not be a real number. But here, you can plug in all real numbers. It's possible. You can solve it looking at it algebraically as well. I'm Rachel, and thank you for learning with me today.